since I was younger. All of my friends are dead. Leave them in the cold, put them in the tundra. I go right, Charles. I cannot see her. I make her fumble. I was just in Texas with Aaliyah, a pussy, a jungle. They wanted to drop us me off sick, but I told them I'm coming normal. When you play this shit with white. Welcome back to another tutorial, guys. Uh, this one's a little long awaited from the last video. Um, yeah, but anyways, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to animate pictures and just bring them to life from going from boring still images like this to the incredible intro that you saw we utilize things like ai in this video a lot and uh some other video techniques that i will be teaching how to do it along the way yeah let's get started let's waste no time so before you actually start using the ai uh if your picture is already the desired like length or width that you want for the video then you could completely skip this part i'll give you a timestamp to skip to in the event that you have pictures like mine where they are their portrait uh, they're, they're not fitting in the frame of the video. Uh, we could actually use another form of AI to help fill this in. Okay, so the tool we're going to be utilizing is Photoshop's built in AI features, which work incredibly well, surprisingly. I'm just going to create a workspace here with my desired resolution. All right, so let's say this is the picture that you want to expand, right? You want to bring it to 1920 by 1080, but of course, it is not fitting that frame right now. All you have to do is select the marquee tool right here. It's the rectangle with the dotted lines. And you're just going to select the area that you want to fill in. So it's going to be roughly that side and hold shift to make another box this side too. And all you got to do is press generative fill, generate, and let Photoshop do its magic. And boom, there you go already literally just the click of a button and it filled in the whole background for me and it looks seamless like literally like look it even filled in the edges of the car it's crazy it's really crazy what ai could do nowadays it scares me it's gonna take my job you know but yeah it gives you three different results if you didn't like the first one or if you still don't like these you could just press generate again and it'll give you more results yeah so once you get something that you're happy with you could literally just take this and export it and then i'll bring us to the next step so for me, I'm gonna use this photo. I'm gonna just go to export as JPEG, put it at the highest quality, export it to wherever you want. All right, and this is gonna be the website that we are gonna be using to bring our pictures to life. It's called Layapix. Uh, I'll 100% put the link in the description. And it is a paid service. Um, that is after you use your 100 credits that they give you, which will give you two free videos or animations or whatever, but I'm gonna let you guys in on the secret. Um, if you just log in with different accounts and create different accounts, you'll keep getting that 100 credits. So it's sort of infinite. Um, take that how you will, but yeah. So all you gotta do is drag your image in here. So you drag your image in there and within literal seconds, it'll have an animation for you. And you can see, not even five seconds and there is this whole animation going on and that's pretty much like 80 percent of the work um you could actually just leave it like this and just have this animation gone but they have different presets here you can see this one moves up vertically horizontally this one circles it this one zooms in and there's also a, a custom tab here which is what i use and you just kind of mess around with the parameters and it'll make like literally the the possibilities are endless okay so you know it's not entirely ai doing all the work because you know you do some portion of it but it is insanely cool how easy this is and accessible and you can also alter the amount of motion that's going on in the clip if you don't want that much you just want something subtle put it lower higher obviously put it up and yeah you can just kind of play around with the settings it's pretty straightforward i mean they all you know mean what they say edge dilation is pretty much just the distortion on the edges like how intense do you want it like for example behind the subject right here um you can alter the depth map it's super customizable for what it is uh so yeah just come up with the animation that you want and i'll show you how to export later on we're going to sell off this effect better by actually animating the character moving so a tip for that ahead of time is to set the focus point to your subject so that there's not too much motion going on with the subject and it'll be way easier to animate later trust me so yeah, now you can just export it using the free credits that I talked about earlier. Just press export. This removes the watermark from it so that you don't really have to worry about it anymore. And yeah, once you're done, just click here if it didn't download already. And we're just gonna drag this into After Effects. 
Now that you have your clip in After Effects, um, first thing you want to do is probably time remap it so that it's not just a boring linear animation. So I've done tutorials on this like in the past a lot. You know, just drag your keyframes around, press F9, speed graph, and you could just like turn this up so it comes in fast and then fades in slower. So you can see you already have this crazy looking 3D effect, like it actually looks 3D now which is already mind boggling. But like I said, we're gonna bring it just that much closer to looking like a real video um, by animating our subject moving. So you're gonna start by pre-comping this layer. Now you wanna duplicate it. And on this top layer, you're just gonna cut out your subject with the pencil. It doesn't have to be a nice looking mask, it could be really rough. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back when I do that. All right, and just like that, we have our character cut out. And I would 100% mess with the feather and edge expansion settings just so you get like a little bit of a cleaner result, something like that maybe. Okay, so to actually bring your character to life and to make them seem like, you know, they're performing some type of motion, you're just gonna wanna use the puppet pencil, which is like this thumbtack looking thing up here. And you're just gonna place it on like the main points of the body, if that makes sense. So for example, that would be the head, maybe the back, rear, and uh knees and like the feet right you don't need a lot of points and your point of rotation or like where you want your animation to happen you want to grab that pin and put it to bend and that's where you could really get funky with this if you you see what i'm saying you know you can do some crazy things uh this one is really up to you like what you want to do with it but for me i'm just going to make them like Maybe like bend in a little bit. Like you, you'll see what I mean, you'll see what I mean. So yeah, just play around with these values, move around your pins, see what it does when you do it and uh, just try to make something that looks natural. And you can see already we have this cool kind of bending in animation. It might not be super noticeable, but it will be noticeable in the animation you'll see. So you can see he's just kind of like bending in a little more than he already was. Remember, just try not to exaggerate your effect too much because then it will look unnatural and it won't look like your picture's actually moving. It'll just look like a weird animation. So yeah, once you have something that you're proud with, uh, you can either like drag this out across the whole animation or you can like kind of loop it by just like copying the starting points and putting it at the end of your clip. So it's something like this maybe. And to kind of, you know, of course, make it look more natural, I would just easy ease all of them. So that maybe it looks a little more, you see, like it kind of bends in, bends out. I'm just gonna have this single little bend in go throughout the whole thing. So I'm just gonna select all of these and maybe like easy ease them or put like a different kind of curve on it. So yeah, once you have something that you're happy with, uh, you just can uncheck the solo layer and you can see your animation play out firsthand. And you will see there is this ghosting effect, but that is actually easier to fix than you think. And believe it or not, we're gonna use AI again. This bottom layer that has like everything on it, you know, the background, your character, everything, not the solo layer that you just animated. You're gonna wanna actually take the mask from this top layer that you animated, copy it, paste it on the back one, and switch it to subtract. Now you wanna pre-comp this layer again, open it up, and you wanna expand the mask so that it covers the whole character. So for me, it would be like that. It, remember, it doesn't have to look nice. Just so that it keeps your character out of the frame the whole time. And once you pretty much have your character cut out like this, there's just a big black splotch in it. You're actually gonna wanna use AI again which in other words is content aware fill and you kind of pull this tab up on the side i would leave all the settings as is just make sure this is on work area and not entire duration because sometimes that just crash my after effects like on multiple cases it's bad you're just going to want to click generate fill layer. all right and once it's done you can see it pretty much just filled in all that empty space for you and now that ghost theme is gone and your character could do their animation in peace so yeah you can see Zooms in, character does a little bend, and it looks great already. You can leave it like this, of course, but what really is gonna sell it is overlays that match your photo, that have motion other than your subject. So in this instance, it would be like smoke 
or dust particles or you know you just have to find stuff that matches your clip so i'm gonna actually link a couple overlays commonly used overlays for things like this so like i said smoke dust uh just particles overall like stuff like that that is gonna be super helpful for making your pictures actually look like you know they have motion they have life to them so i'm actually going to use this particle overlay which i think sells the effect the best in my opinion and you just want to put it to like color dodge or screen uh and you just kind of overlay this you kind of overlay it over your clip and you can see already it seems like there's a lot more motion going on you know i get all the smoke going on and then next i'm gonna add a smoke overlay which i think in particular works really well for this clip especially because there's a lot of smoke in the background so i'm just gonna add this put it on screen um maybe turn on the opacity so it's not so overbearing and boom really looks like the scene is alive now and if you really want to go out of your way to make it look like everything is moving you can add something like maybe heat wave to your background clip uh you know mess with the settings so there's like some motion going on in the back there you go it kind of makes it look like the smoke in the back is already moving uh it will alter everything though so now it looks like the car is like melting uh so you know mess around with with this how you want uh, i'm just gonna add a little bit of heat wave something like that maybe to add some motion to the background and I'm also gonna add in this little transition blur that I made that I think in particular works really well for uh, these kinds of clips. And you can see it kind of just comes in like that. Uh, it's just a mixture of different blurs and glows. And I think it works really well for like transitioning from clip to clip or just even like bringing in a clip. And you can, com uh, you can combine this with my beat shake, which I will also provide in the description. And you can maybe have it so like, you know, it shakes when he does his little animation. So something like that. So you can see it kind of comes in, does a little shake when he does his animation, and boom, there you go. Now, just some extras that I, I think pull it all together. I know I've said that a lot, but just some extra, more extra things that pull it together. Obviously a color correction so that it just, you know, mushes everything into one beautiful piece of art. Um, Another thing could just be like a, a slight subtle little shake so i'm just gonna add a subtle little shake preset that i will also be linking in the description and you can see it adds some of that very necessary camera movement uh to the shot that kind of makes it come even more to life you can alter the frequency and the amplitude uh just so you have like you know your desired effect and i'm just gonna slap some uh color correction on it and and we'll pretty much call it a day there and just like that with some simple overlays color correction and the use of AI, of course. Uh, there you go, you have an animated photo. You see it comes in with a nice little blur, camera shaking, smoke moving around, and your character does a lot of animation. And it's all a pretty quick process if you wanna skip all the extras and just you know do straight up AI. Um, of course, I highly recommend that you don't do that because don't let AI do the work for you. Bring in your own creativity, bring in your own toys, do something different. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and being super patient with this tutorial because I did take a little long for my last carnival edit. Uh, hopefully you guys understood this, enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I'll help you guys out. If you need any help, just let me know. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Uh, comment pickle if you made it this far. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.